Hey YouTube, this is part four of the trailer rebuild. Uh, <laughs> if someone could have come forward in time with a time machine and stopped me and said, it showed me this is how much trouble you're gonna have removing paint from this thing, I would have just taken it to some professional with a sandblaster and just said go nuts. Paid the money and been happy with about happy about it. But as with all things DIY, it costs a lot of time and often <laughs> you hurt yourself in the process. Luckily I haven't hurt myself too bad, but this trailer actually had four layers of paint on it. This episode we're going to go through stripping the paint off. Um, I actually had to make a homemade sandblaster out of a coke bottle. Eh, that actually worked a lot better than you think it would work, but oh, you'll see that in a minute. Uh, then we cut the steel frame for the uh, underneath mounting the axles and the A-frame and weld all that together. Uh, I'd also like to say a big thank you to my fans out there. I, uh, I make these episodes for you and I hope you enjoy them. This is literally the only space left I have in my garage. You can't see this behind the camera, but the trailer's laid out here, welding machine's there, and I got a cutting machine over there. And this is literally all the space I have left. I've got to get some of these projects finished before starting anymore because I'm running out of room. Also bought myself a lapel mic. Let me know if in the comments if you can hear me properly or not. I've been experimenting with different microphones and I don't know if this one's as good as they say, so let me know. Hey guys, so I decided to make a sand plaster to get the sand out of all the little bits. Check it out, it's pretty simple. It's just a coke bottle with a hair compressor air snap that goes all the way through and a hole in the bottom, I'll show you in a sec. So it's just a little cutout in the top there. And uh, just push high pressure air through here for about 60 psi. And it picks up sand and throws it out. I gotta get all this up. So there's nothing special I'm using about the sand here. It's just ordinary sand that you'd use in a kid's play sand. Just fill the bottle up probably about a quarter of the way. I found out any more than a quarter of the way it kind of gets um it doesn't work very well. So if you leave it a quarter full, it seems to work really, really well. Just fill it up. Okay, ready to go.
time to wash it all off. That's pretty good for a homemade bodgy sandblaster. The other side. All the paint's gone. That looks great. So the panels are ready. Now we've got to assemble the frame. Shall we begin? This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Everything's welded together. So I've welded on the top and underneath here on every join. So it's nice and strong. Let's begin. 